Yesterday Apple unveiled the latest generation iPad Pros, both 11-inch and 12.9-inch models, with a new custom A12Z chipset, and today the 11-inch variant of the iPad Pro for 2020 has been tested on a 2.2. Now before we explore the scores, let's get a few technicalities out of the way. It's a magical piece of glass. It's so fast most PC laptops can't catch up. It has pro cameras that can transform reality. And you can use it with touch, pencil, keyboard, and now trackpad. It's the new iPad Pro. Find a more advanced mobile display. Think you know iPad cameras? Think Dupper. Apple's naming scheme might suggest that the iPhone 11 series have a more powerful chipset than the iPad Pros, because A13 should beat an A12Z, or A12X, for that matter. However, that's clearly not the case. The iPhone 11's A13 has a 6-core CPU and a 4-core GPU. The A12X, found in last year's iPad Pros, has an 8-core CPU and 7-core GPU. This year's iPad Pro's A12Z chipset has an 8-core CPU and an 8-core GPU. Now there are other factors like clock speeds of each core and architecture, but Apple iPad Pro, 12.9-inch, 4th generation, Wi-Fi plus cellular and GPS, A2069, A2232 Wi-Fi only, GSM, CDMA, HSPA, Erdo, LTE announced 2 Alice support, Bluetooth integration, magnetic, display type IPS LCD capacitive touchscreen, 16M color size 12.9 inches, 505 just on court count. It goes A12Z greater than A12X greater than A13. Back to the iPad Pro 11, 2020, on an 2.2. The tested unit has 6GB of RAM, which is 2GB more than last year's models and is a big deal in and of itself. The new iPad is also running the as of yet unreleased iOS 13.4 and has 128GB of storage. The recorded CPU score is more or less the same as that of an iPad Pro from last year, but the added GPU core has accounted for a 9% increase in the GPU score. This may not seem like much, but the iPad Pro from last year was already a graphics beast. The rest of the scores are pretty much within the error margin of the benchmark. The overall score is also the best and 2.2 has seen, well over the 700,000 threshold. Obviously comparing benchmark numbers across platforms isn't always ideal as there are a bunch of variables, but it's still close to 100,000 more than the Snapdragon 865 rivals on the Android side. Apple's press images also show another cloud wallpaper with red, blue, and purple accents. Graphic designer has recreated this image at a resolution of 5450 by 4084. This is my personal favorite of Apple's new wallpapers. On the new iPad Pro, our apps become even more realistic. Placing an R object now happens instantly. Realistic object occlusion allows our objects to pass in front of and behind real-world structures. Improved motion capture and people occlusion are more accurate than ever, and developers will be able to create even more immersive experiences. The Pro Camera system makes iPad Pro incredibly versatile. Shoot, edit, and share a 4K video, all on the same device. Capture an entire room in one shot with the ultra-wide camera and use markup to redesign it on the spot. Or scan a document, sign or mark it up with Apple Pencil. Then send back your notes with a tap. The front-facing true depth camera enables Face ID, the world's most secure facial authentication in a tablet and in a computer. It also means you can chat with friends using FaceTime, take portrait selfies, or liven up your messages conversations by turning yourself into an animoji. With the A12Z Bionic chip, iPad Pro is so fast that outpaces most PC laptops available today. It makes everything you do fast and fluid, from your everyday tasks to graphics-intensive workflows. And the 8-core graphics processor means even more performance and realism for the apps and games where it matters most.
What do you think of Apple's latest wallpaper designs for iPad Pro? They appear very similar to the popular stormy wallpaper included with the iMac Pro in 2017. Let us know which wallpaper you're using down in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you on my next video.